How's it going folks? It is Sunday afternoon. My dad asked me to come over to uh, paint his bathroom basically and every time I come over to my parents house I don't even go in the house. I just go straight to their neighbors and check on the moles first and that's what I did and there's all kinds of mole tunnels. They're about a day old or so maybe fresh and I'm gonna go check them out right now. I stepped on them and I'm coming back. It's been about 15 20 minutes we'll see if he came back out things going on here um, first thing is I stepped on that 15 minutes ago and it's back up so the mole blighter is back and um, and then up here where I stepped on tunnels there's a bunch of them I mean there's like 75 feet of tunnels and um, so I come up here and then there's a few spots that are raised up and then I question myself did I really get all of it did I really step on all of it it's a question I ask myself all the time because it's really easy not to see some of it and so I don't know if it's new activity or I just missed it so now I'm just gonna step on it thinking I missed it Okay, as you could see, I just, I just came back 15 minutes later to check on that mole. And like I said, I told you, I stepped on that and that mole came up. I stepped on it again. I went downstairs, I painted for about 10 minutes and um, came back out. He's pushing the dirt up right in front of my face. But... Um, and I was going to go for it. I had a camera on record. I had the shovel with me. I was going to go for him. But he's in an area where he just comes up in one spot about a foot long. And he always pushes that area up. But he does not make a surface tunnel after that. He goes somewhere else underground and pops up somewhere else. So I didn't really think I had a great chance of getting him. Plus... The dirt is a lot harder in that area because it's right next to the woods um, but it's in the grass and the rain doesn't quite reach that area as much as it does in the open ground so I have a, a lot better chance catching that mole in the open ground so hopefully he's making his way right now to the open ground and I'm gonna come back I'm gonna try to catch him then but I could have I probably could have had it but there was more of a risk of me missing it and more of a risk of me killing it I'm gonna come back again. Okay, going back again for what, uh, my third time? Hopefully he's in a good spot where I can pluck him out of the ground.
body back in the tunnel and I grabbed him as hard as I could squeezed him and pulled him out by his butt I mean whew. come here buddy come here oh my gosh I got mole crap I got mole poop all over my fingers oh jeez. hold on a second He's got mold poop all over him. But anyway, I got him. I mean, I was actually nervous. Here he is, take a look at him. Okay. Okay. I just cut a mole here about three days ago, three, four days ago. And I thought it was the last mole. Obviously it wasn't. I got one more. And check this out. You know, this is my third time back catching this or looking for this uh, mole. Um, he was back there. He was back there by the edge of the wood it's about 30 feet away so in 15 minutes he tunneled 30 feet and then I found him again put the camera on him he's pushing up dirt and he stopped and then he popped up two feet more away and then that's when I took a chance to get him and I barely got him I mean I really yanked him out by his butt here check out um check out his tunnel I'll show you his tunnel where he tried to go back in in order to escape me. All right, this is his tunnel right here. See that? That's where he was. And I really had to yank him out of his tunnel. And here's the other side of his tunnel. Let's see. Right there. But I am so happy to get the blighter. They just keep coming back. And I do know that what I read was um, when you remove a mole from your yard, 
and their tunnels are empty, eventually different males from close by areas will take over the empty tunnels. And I don't know if that's what's happening or what, but I'm just uh, glad I got them. I could go back to painting. Really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, give this guy some dirt, cover him up, and continue painting and then go relocate him later. <laughs> 